Greetings, everyone. I am Thackard, and today I am talking about my new love and addiction, Grim Dawn. As you look around this channel, you will have seen that I am a very big fan of the survival and RPG genres. While the survival and crafting aspects is one part of my enjoyment of these games, the other is loot. At the end of the day, my bag has to be filled with goodies for the trip home. It doesn't matter if it is resources I have mined, items I have liberated from locked chests, or new shiny gear I have pried from the cold, lifeless hands of my defeated foes. The inventory must overfloweth with loot. The most common issue I have in games is being overencumbered or running out of inventory space. I am the guy that plays an Elder Scrolls game and takes all the plates and silverware out of every abandoned house I find. So, knowing that this is my style of play, one of my longtime viewers, friend, and Star Wars Galaxy Rodian sidekick, Mambu, gave me a suggestion. I should try out an ARPG called Grim Dawn. He believed it would be a game that I would get some enjoyment from. He believed it so much so that he just sent me a copy of the game one day over Steam. After putting it off for a bit, I figured it was time to try it out. And oh boy, was he ever right. Up to this point, the only true ARPG I had ever played was Torchlight. This was over a decade ago after hearing Total Biscuit rave about the original game during his coverage of the soon-to-be-released sequel to it. So, my first foot into the genre was this colorful, pet-friendly, and murderous descent through ever-deeper mines, fortresses, and lava-filled caverns. I found it a wonderful way to end my workday for several weeks. Then, well, then it just kind of faded away and became lost in my Steam library. Time went on and eventually we get to the present, where my current need for mayhem and loot was being filled by the game Warframe. A game where you play a space ninja with magic powers and go around killing large groups of baddies with stylistic weapons and abilities. Actually, the more I think about it, Warframe might actually have been an ARPG all along. But that is surely a conversation and or debate for another day. And that leads me to this last month of pure enjoyment. Now, knowing that people love seeing me struggle and fail at stuff, I decided to stream this entire adventure. So, I hit go live, and I started up my first run of Grim Dawn. Having never played before, I asked Mambu what class I should be. Now, I am paraphrasing here, but he responded with what I think was the best answer. Whichever one you think looks the most fun. Now, in a world of metas and build guides, this was a breath of fresh air. He continued and told me that every class can be effective in game and that the game has a huge array of different ways to play your hero. Still, I was rather unsure of what to do. So he asked if I wanted to play melee or ranged. I decided on beating things with sharp implements. Thus, my Witchblade was born unto the Grim Dawn. I liked the idea of beating people to death while making them bleed out profusely with the occultist bloody pox. Having decided on my idealized version of Carnage, I continued into this wonderfully dark and depressing world. I went from swinging by the neck to saving my local community of survivors in no time. Before I knew it, I had fought my way through swamps and aether fire and had come face to face with my first real challenge the Warden. This is when I learned, to the delight of my viewers and Mambu's poorly muffled giggling, of the importance of hitting the L key and dropping my personal rift gate before starting a big fight. 
Eventually, after some swearing, dodging, and a bit of cardio running through an already empty dungeon, the warden was defeated. Soon, I was marching across the lands of Cairn, clearing out farms, caves, and even the void of every moving being that didn't give me a quest. As I adventured on, new gear would adapt my playstyle. One minute I would be clubbing baddies and making a beautiful visual spectacle of Force Wave, Aether Smash, and Tsunami. The next, starting up a Dare You to Hit Me build based around anything saying chance when hit in the description. Eventually, I settled on cleaving through as many baddies as possible and began focusing on my Cadence build. Supplemented by just a bit of visual fun, with bloody pox combined with the imp's aether fire. So, during my streams, I would continue on with the main quests, while in the evening, I would grind out faction standing. All because I just wanted to keep playing more, and I didn't want my viewers to miss out on any of the storylines. Eventually, we get to the end of the main story, and I stand triumphant over the remains of a cathartic horror. Only then did I realize that I was just getting started. Because as much as I loved playing the base game, I enjoyed the expansions even more so. Ashes of Malmuth brought me into an ever more stunning visual world. All the previous environments appeal was nothing compared to the lands I was now exploring. I had another great story and fascinating factions to help out. I truly believe that this took everything from the base game and just improved each part of it. My only question I had was, when do I fight that cool looking lady in the loading screen? Having saved Melmoth from a rather disgusting and squishy transformation, I was then whisked away through a portal to the lands of the Forgotten Gods. An amazing area filled with new creatures, bigger boss fights, additional skills and classes, totems, and even more inventory space. I loved every minute of exploring through these vibrant desert ruins while searching for hidden areas and secret treasures. Helping the cults of the witch gods fight off an even greater threat to the Corvin Basin. And once that is completed, I have the Shattered Realm to explore. Over the course of a month, Grim Dawn has taken me from not caring about the ARPG genre to loving it. I am now a person fully committed. I have just begun my first elite playthrough, and I am already theory crafting my next build. At the same time, I am looking forward to my next foray into the ARPG genre. Under the advice of Mambu, I will be stepping further back into the ARPG past and I will be taking a look at Titan Quest, eventually. While this might be the next step into this genre, it won't be the last. I still have games like Path of Exile, Last Epoch, and Diablo to try out. Still, as I try out all these other titles, I am sure I know where exactly my heart will find its rest. Obviously, that would be the Crate Entertainment X page constantly refreshing in hopes of a release date for Fangs of Astrakarn. I want to thank you all for watching my outpouring of nerdiness for my new addiction. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like and think about subscribing. If you want to see me having even more fun within Grim Dawn, you can always find me as I stream here on YouTube or over on Twitch. Thank you all, and goodbye.